Hi, this is Nathan Burgess with the Stowe Reporter. We're at Stowe Elementary School today to talk to Ann Economu. Her first grade class does an annual project to look at uh, monarch butterflies. But this year there are no butterflies and a lot of experts are pointing to changing agricultural practices, the use of herbicide in the Midwest and uh, climate change as, as the culprit. I mean, there's nothing quite as magical as watching, especially a monarch, mm -hmm. um, you know, eat it's, you know, we usually have the leaves, the milkweed plants in mm -hmm. here, and they literally observe what it does each day until it forms its chrysalis. Mm -hmm. And then watching it emerge, you know, just so symmetrical in its design, mm -hmm. and then being able to share with them. We've got lots of great picture books and stories about how this caterpillar, you know, the butterfly, gotta go, gotta go, gotta mm -hmm. go to Mexico. Sure, yeah. So then you can <laughs> talk about a migration south. Mm -hmm. So um, I think it just tends to be one of the more popular butterflies. I think that... There's differences and there's similarities. Yeah, you guys don't have a chrysalis? Like... No, we don't, don't. Like, they like to be in warm places and we do too. That's really why we, we chose it and again because we can find it right here in Vermont. The, the takeaway is the same in that it's just you know science connection of, of life cycles and that things change over time mm -hmm. so how appropriate that we can then start talking about well our environment is changing over time as well and this is a unique year for us that we haven't really been able to find any caterpillars um, you know for you to observe. Mm -hmm. I had one student say well you can order them online <laughs> um, and I acknowledge that absolutely we can but in Vermont we always like to be able to find them mm -hmm. um, for real, you know, out in, in the outdoors if we can. Mm -hmm. I like you? seeing like the patterns of butterflies and like how they live and how they just live their life. Oh, there she goes! This is Nathan Burgess at Stowe Elementary School for the Stowe Reporter.